Okay, so chalk pastels are in our box like this. Our voices are off, guys. When you open up your box of chalk pastels, you will see most of them are broken. That's okay. But one of the things we do want to try to do as we're working is match up any of our colors. So, for example, I do have three purples, but I want them all in the same thing. If they start to get spread out, then I don't have room for some of my colors. So do your best to try to match up your colors. It does make it easier to find them as well. Okay, so the first one is just the types of strokes that you can get with a chalk pastel. So I can use the tip, which is going to be any part of the side of a square to my pastels. Again, you're not doing, you're just watching. Um, and then the side of the pastel. So this is why actually having broken ones can be helpful. I can use the side of this to fill in a large area pretty quickly. Okay, so those are the two types of strokes that you can make. Then we're going to do some color mixing. So primary colors, I'm going to go with a yellow for one primary. And I'm going to do, let's say, a blue for my other primary color. And what should they make? They should make green. I'm going to put both in the middle here. So I've got some yellow, some blue. And this is where you can use your finger or your Q-tip or your paper towel to kind of mix those together. And you can see I have created that little bit of green there by mixing those two colors. Your voices are off. Value scale. So I am creating my dark to my light, but with using these pastels, it is a little bit easier actually. So I can take my color and I can add color very, very lightly to my area. I'm going to even leave the very end blank because I can smear that down. And then I'm going to build up some of my darks on one end, start to build my mediums, and really kind of layer this like we did with our colored pencil one yesterday to get some of our darks and some of our mediums. And then again, either wrapping my finger with a paper towel or just using my finger itself I'm going to blend this. When you blend the chalk pastels, the mistake I often see people make is they like press pretty hard as they're blending. You actually take away too much of the pastel. So you want a really light touch, so you're just smearing it together. You're not taking off your color, okay? Now you will see as you're working, I'm creating quite a bit of dust. Do not blow the dust. Do not wipe the dust, it will ruin your paper. What you will do is you will pick up your paper and hold it flat. You will take it to a trash can and just pat over the trash can. Okay, Aiden, whatever you have out, put it away. Okay, we're making a tint. So a tint is a color plus white. I'm going to add my white first. Now note, your white can be hard to find. This is my white. How do I know it's white? Well, I can see it peeking out a little bit here that it is white. You will probably need to clean off your white at some point or another, especially as you're color mixing. So I can see just wiping this on the paper towel and getting my nice bright white back. I'm gonna add some white first as a quick layer. Then I'll add a little bit of my color. And then I will go back with that white to kind of blend with the pastels. So another blending technique you can do is using the pastel itself to blend. Oops, sorry, I didn't want to make that. There we go. So a little bit of white, a little bit of color, and then the pastel itself can be used as kind of my blending tool. Okay, so that made a nice tint. It's the same color I did above, so you can really see it. Then I'm going to do a shade. So that's my color plus black. Black takes over quickly, so I'm going to do my color first. And then I will take a little bit of my black very, very lightly. Again, I could use my finger, I could use my Q-tip, or I can go back to my other blue and kind of use that as my blender. And you can see that does make more of like a navy blue compared to the blue that I had up here. And then our last value scale is going to be with white and black mixed in. So I'm going to switch up my colors here. I think I'll do, I'll do an orange. And I'm going to do my value scale again from dark to light. 
blending that out as lightly as I can, layering one end a little bit more. And then once I have that decent value from light to dark, I'm going to go back with my white, blend my white over this end to try to create those tints. And then blend some of my black into the other end to create those shades. I can either, again, use my finger or use the oil pastel or Q-tip to blend. Okay? I'm going to use my finger in the middle here also. So now I have my full dark to light value scale with white and black. Okay? Open up your chalk pastels and you may begin and I'll be around to help. <laughs> 